Today I want to talk about education. There's been a lot of talk about the McCleary decision and that was a Supreme Court decision that was saying that we're not adequately taking care of our education system. If it's truly our paramount duty then we need to make sure it is our paramount duty and fund that. But McCleary is more than just about funding. McCleary is really about making sure that we have an education system where our kids can get the tools necessary to compete in a 21st century modern global high-tech world. If you look at where we've been in the past eight years, we've had some pretty substantial increases in school funding, 29% uh, more money spent now uh, than was spent eight years ago. But what have we seen in student outcomes? And, and that's really the decision that we're trying to focus on in Olympia, is making sure that we are focused on student achievement. Because if it's just talking about money, uh, we put in 29% more over the last eight years uh, school graduation rates are flat uh, and the achievement gap has actually widened over that amount of time. So what we're trying to do is not only talk about additional resources for schools and making sure that we have the kind of schools necessary, but also we have the reforms to back up those so that the new dollars that we put into the system are really doing what we're setting out to accomplish. Uh, so often the conversation in Olympia is all about inputs, 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 and what we're really focused on is what can we do to move the needle in student achievement so that our students are getting the knowledge base that they're going to need. A uh, couple of the ideas we're looking at right now, if you look at what the, the biggest driver for education, obviously, is labor costs, your, your teacher salaries and such. Uh, we have a single schedule here in Washington State where all teachers are basically paid the same and it, it, it's predicated upon years of service. Uh, and this just doesn't make sense in today's world where uh, we're really trying to put a focus on math and science teachers. If you want great math and science teachers, they have other opportunities. So it doesn't really make sense to have a PE teacher on the same salary schedule as a math and science teacher. Uh, one of the other things that we're trying to do is move to a system where it's more performance based. Um, if we're going to draw the best and brightest students out of our universities, and that's what uh, the countries that are really leading the way, if you look at Singapore, South Korea, Finland, they're getting the top five, top ten percent of their, their university school or their university students. Um, in order to attract those, they need to know that wow, if I, if I get into the school system, if I do a great job, I can make more uh, than somebody who maybe isn't putting in the kind of effort that I'm putting in. Uh, so it's moving that salary schedule. Uh, one of the other things that we're really trying to put a focus on is I have never been in a school yet across the state uh, that was a great school that didn't have a great principal. And so really leading the charge on making sure that every one of our schools has a great principal. And a central component to that is if we're going to hold principals accountable to the results in their schools, uh, then they need to be able to pick the team uh, that they're being held accountable for. Right now, principals have no control over really who's, uh, who's in their classrooms. Um, and, and one of the issues we've had over the past couple years is we've had a program called uh, Last In, First Out. And what it did is we had a lot of great young teachers, but since any layoffs that we unfortunately had to have were predicated solely on seniority. We lost some of our best and brightest teachers, especially in uh, schools that tend to have uh, younger teachers, and that is our most economically depressed school districts. So there's a lot of things that we're doing on the reform front, from uh, mutual consent to the salary schedule to having a school grading system that parents can understand. Uh, that will really move the system forward. That coupled with additional focuses um, in our resources, budget-wise, uh, will really make a difference in making sure that our kids have the kind of education system that they're going to need, that we're going to need as a society to move forward.